Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided that I would do a eyeshadow look using the ColourPop Animal Crossing La Bella the Ball Ooh. eyeshadow palette. That is this purple one here. Very pretty colors. Sorry, I have my two-year-old climbing under the tripod for some reason. Um, so yeah, there's the color story there. Um, super pretty colors. There's not exactly a mat in here, um, but I'm just gonna do a look with just what's in here. And then I am also trying out and giving you my thoughts on the e.l.f. Cosmetics Hydrating Camo Concealer. Now this is not by any means a new concealer, but I have never tried it. Um, I've heard really good things about it, so I decided we'll give it a try. I am not sure if I got the right shade. I got Fair Warm. Um, I did not feel like there was very many shade options. Um, and there's what the doe foot looks like. It's a nice and big doe foot. So yeah, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on this product and show you a look on uh, this eyeshadow palette. As of right now, filming this video, I did just check on ColourPop's website. The Animal Crossing is still, the whole collection is still available for $125. The eyeshadow palettes are still available for sale individually. Um, and then there's a few items from the collection that are out of stock, like the, um, the little lip crayons, I forget what they're called. Uh, but the little lip crayons are not available right now. And there's a few other things that weren't available as part of this collection. Um, so yeah, I will end up doing a look with all of the eyeshadow palettes. Um, but I decided to start with the purple one because purple's my favorite color. So to get started, I'm just going to find a fluffy brush here. I'll go with this one. I'm just using a big fluffy brush to start with. And let's go ahead and zoom you into the eyes a little bit more. There we go. Okay. I am going to start with this lightest purple right here. And that is called Taylor's Ticket. I'm just going to get that up on my brush, tap it. Oh, and you know what? I actually, before I do that, I'm going to prime my eyes. I am using the um, Hard Candy Shimmer Eyeshadow Primer. Hard Candy is a brand that is available at Walmart. I do not think it is available in other stores. However, you can shop on their website. Oh, I'm just going to pat that on there. I think I got a little too much on that side. That's okay. Um, it is a pretty nice eyeshadow primer. I have had it for years, so honestly it's probably Mama. expired, Mama. but I'm going to use it up. Um, so yeah, okay. So going in with this lightest purple here oh. called Taylor's Ticket, Mama. and I'm just going to Go in the crease with that. Um, now these palettes do not have any kind of matte shade, but I'm going to use this one as a transition shade in the crease. I'm going to do, I think, two layers on each eye and kind of bring it up the brow bone a little bit. So that is what we've got so far. Um, these ColourPop eyeshadows are really easy to blend out, and they're buildable as well. So, I will leave a link in the description box below to the collection. Um, it is not an affiliate link. I am not sponsored by ColourPop or anything. I have no, I get no benefit if you choose to click on that link. Um, it's just simply a link to the collection 
if you decide you want to check it out. And then I am going to go in, you know what? Let's hold that thought for a second. Okay, sorry about that. They decided to do yard work, like mow the lawns right outside my apartment window. So that's fun. I'm just kind of cleaning off my brush here a little bit. Um, it had a green shadow from another look I did. Okay, we are gonna go in with this darker purple down at the bottom. It is Serene Sable is the shade name. And I'm gonna just go in with this in the outer corner and I'm gonna pull it into my crease a little bit. Yeah, you can probably hear the two-year-old in the background. So, I'm just going to pack this on and pull it into the crease a little bit just to add a little dimension in the crease, but I want it focused in the outer corner. And I did not do the concealer yet because I knew this palette would get a little bit messy. There is some fallout from this palette. I feel like a lot of um, ColourPop palettes do have fallout, but their colors are pigmented and it's a very affordable brand. So I am, it's not the biggest deal in the world to me. So again, just kind of focusing that on the outer corner and dragging it just into the crease. So sorry about the background noise. Okay. And then I am going to take a flat, dense brush right here. And we are gonna go into this, uh, this, this shade right here called Custom Design. And I'm going to put that in the inner part of my eyelid here. This is a really pretty like dual chrome shade. I don't know if the camera's really gonna pick up on it much, but I really like it a lot actually. And then just to amp it up a little bit cause it did a pretty good job applying it with a dry brush. I'm going to dampen my brush up just a little bit with my setting spray. I am using the Item Beauty One Hit um, Setting Spray for that. And then, okay. Just to kind of amp it up a little bit, make it a little bit more foiled there. And then on the other eye, I'm going to do the same thing. Just going to kind of blend it into that purple in the outer corner there. I do really like this palette and these colors. I'm getting a lot of fallout on my face. Now I already did do my foundation before starting this video. Just so it wasn't a super long video. So, and then um, these quads do have a pressed glitter here. And I do like to use the pressed glitter. They are not technically eye safe. Um, just because there is a danger of them, the glitter getting into your eye and everything. So I'm just real careful where I apply it. I don't apply it too close to the inner corner or anything like that. And I'm also real careful when I remove it. But that is a swatch of that color. And I just kind of pack this on the center of the eyelid a little bit. And it just kind of amps, amps up the sparkle. So if you are going to use pressed glitters on your eyes, just be very careful when you're applying them and then again when you're removing them. You don't want to get that glitter in your eye. I do apologize for all the background noise today. 
the two older boys are at school, but I've still got the two younger ones. So. But you know what? That's real life, so. We're just gonna roll with it. Okay. And that is what the finished look looks like. Okay. Now let's go ahead and go in with this concealer. I'll leave you zoomed in here so you can see it as well. Um, let me grab my mirror. I'm just gonna use this under my under eyes and then I've got a little spot on my chin I wanna conceal. So. good shades so far might be actually a little dark um, but I'm gonna go with it it feels nice and creamy so it's got that going for it it has a kind of a smell I don't know it smells a little odd and then I'll just blend this out. So yeah, the color, I did go a little too dark, so I think I would need the next lightest shade to be the correct shade. But you know what, that's okay. I will use it up and make it work. It's not so dark that it doesn't work. I've always been horrible at um, matching the correct tone. It does seem to be very full coverage, which is nice. I do like that a lot. That is what it looks like. So yeah, very, it, it appears to be full coverage. That's very nice. I like full coverage concealer. Um, it's very creamy. I like the way it feels. So yeah, um, let me go ahead and finish off my face. And then I will be back to give you my thoughts on the, con the final thoughts on the concealer. Okay, I will be back. Okay, and we're back. So I went ahead and added blush. I used one of the ColourPop Animal Crossing blushes. This is the one in Flower Tender. This is the more peachy toned blush. Um, really like that whole line uh so yeah this is the finished eye look that we came up with with the labelle of the ball palette and my first impressions of the hydro concealer the hydrating camo concealer from elf i really like it so far it's set down nicely with my powder um i just used the siate london extraordinary translucent setting powder this i this came in my ipsy um there's the five month old in the background. She's almost six months old, actually. Um, but yeah, so, so far I'm really liking it. I will update down below if I still like it by the end of the day. <laughs> so yeah, before it gets too noisy in here, I will just say, see you next time. And if you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button down below and comment on if you've used any of the products that I mentioned. Um, the Labelle of the Ball palette, the Flower Tender blush, that setting powder. Um, so yeah, let's let's chat down in the comments if you've used any of these products and what you think of them. And we'll see you next time. Bye.